Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, guys. Well, it's been a lot of time between the first part of this video and now. Uh, but I will try to go over all of the changes and upgrades that have happened without forgetting. And I'll probably overlap a couple times, but that's all right. All right, so we did uh, end up wiring up the winch, putting it to the test. I think you've seen that in uh, at least one of the videos here. Um, we kind of went back and forth between, uh, these deep wagon wheel style rims with some very, very soft tires. I'm, these are great on sand, especially considering how heavy the trail finder is now. Uh, Scrambler from RC four wheel drive. Um, awesome, awesome on sand. In fact, I was able to pull out another truck that buried itself in the sand um, just because of how soft and wide these tires are but uh, them being as soft as they are unless I you know continuously put this thing on a small box so that it doesn't uh, have all its weight on its tires end up in the morning with a very very flat tire that has a flat spot for a while and um, it could change the foam out, but I actually like these as an alternative. So, as of today, um, I received in the mail some, uh, well, they're like Chinese knockoff something or others. Um, they're significantly uh, more firm. Lots and lots of bolts. True beadlock. Um, and in fact, these are the first wheels I've seen where the lip here is the actual beadlock, like on a real truck. But uh, they're significantly more firm. They're also 1.9 inch uh, wheels versus the 155, which is also stock. Um, they're significantly more narrow as well. Oh my goodness, as you can see. What else? Um, my roof rack finally came. I decided to uh, use some tiny black zip ties and this crappy chain. I don't know why they make a chain with open loops. It's useless if you try to actually use it, but uh, that's just being held on by the chain there. Uh, what else? Um, I don't know. I think that might actually be it. But uh, tell me what you think. Oh, I went ahead and got rid of those screws and went with these sort of posts, so to speak. That's a heck of a lot better way to take the body on and off. And uh, yeah, no, I think that's I think that's about it. But uh, let me know what your opinions are in the comments below. And if any of you know where I can get a metal or a high quality plastic set of mirrors as opposed to these goofy rubber ones, uh, please also let me know. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you uh, give that movie a thumbs up if you think it deserves it, and uh, subscribe and smash that bell. All right, where was I? Uh, I realized that I just spoke about the tire and the wheel back and forth i was distracted obviously the tire is what is significantly more firm obviously the wheel is what has a lot of bolts i believe it's 27 and i believe they are five part uh beadlocks fun stuff um amazon china special um after quite a few miles out on trails i do really want to say how much I like the Terraflex there it is uh, Z-Box and uh, Revolver Shackles it uh, 
really makes the trail finder a different machine without having to change out the leaf springs, which I don't want to do because I like them. Um, I love this, uh, I love this roof rack. Great quality. Uh, if it rolls at this point though, metal or not, with the weight that this thing currently carries around, it will definitely be bending and I don't want that, but it is what it is. Um, trying to find a light kit, if any of you know, let me know, that's going to work with this. Um, right now, I haven't really found anything, but that's, uh, that's pretty much a wrap up on this. I did actually get those uh, inner wheel wells back in. And I think the last thing that I'm going to do down here is probably change the front out uh, to a Punisher shaft. But, uh, but yeah, so that's that one. We're going to do a little update on a few of the other crawlers right now that have had changes and uh, let you know what we're doing with those. Okay, so the Gladiator now has the stock wheels and tires off of the SCX-10 Cherokee. Um, I'm a little disappointed that they are actually all glued on there, but it is what it is. Uh, I like the red and black. It's a good uh, color scheme. Tossed on some junky plastic, uh, what are those called? Ladders, whatever. Um, from the fiance's truck that she didn't want on there. And then again, going back to that useless chain that's holding the tire on up there, it can't be used seriously or taken seriously. So we have a 110 pound test cable here uh, with one of the ends of that chain, a uh, little uh, Gorilla Glue, some zip ties, and uh, a little grinding, and we got that on. Actually works as a pretty good uh, handle as well, but I like that. It's not as attractive as it could be, but it is very functional. Um, and this will be the towing truck for when I finish my trailer, which is about 40% done and welded in my garage right now. Other than that, that's pretty much everything on the Glad the G-Made um, K5 Blazer received a wheel and tire size upgrade um, and is now rocking the stock wheels and tires from the SDX-10 III, the Gladiator. And uh, though it's certainly not gonna stay because that's way too loose, plastic uh, uh, hitch and ball from the SDX-10 II. Um, other than that, nothing's new on this. We're going to try to get an interior going on in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one needs new electrical components. It was my first build, and I went as cheap as possible, and I paid the price. It's, uh, it's pretty crappy. Uh, but the frame and the quality of it otherwise is, is fantastic. So we'll be upgrading that eventually one project at a time but that's pretty much it for the k5 and then for the sex 10 2 cherokee it got the tires off of the uh, k5 and these new i really actually love these wheels uh maybe not for this particular truck but the wheels themselves i'm fan, a huge fan of um these rally wheels gold from um RC four-wheel drive. Tiny little bolts are uh, about as accurate as you can get uh, in 110 scale. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the tire here is something to be desired. You can see it says G made there. But, uh, oh, I almost dropped my phone. Um, this is going to be Project uh, Mini Me or Mini Ace what we call my Jeep. Um, so it's gonna have to be repainted red. We're gonna get a tire uh, swing mount for the back, steel bumpers, uh, light bar up here, 
And then we're gonna have to do all the cutting from all the rust removal I did on my Jeep. Um, so hopefully that will end up being as close to identical as I can to my actual Cherokee. And then really, uh, I'll need to break up the video. The only thing that's been done on the old cross here uh, is that I took the plastic wheels apart and painted that inner part uh, black because, well, they're clearly plastic. And the gray was just too much. So I think it's a little bit, a little bit better, but also put the spare tire from the fiance's truck on there. She didn't want that on there either. So I don't know what to do with this. We might scrap it and put some of the components into the G made here. We'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, if you have thoughts on something or want to see something else that I might have missed, please feel free to leave that in the comments. And thank you guys for uh, watching.